Hi guys, good morning. It's 8 a.m. and I'm here with my wife and our dog Kenzo. And I just want to tell you about this very promising development located in the heart of Tanay called Adelaida Mountain Residences, which I will show you later. Because I know that people like to visit Tanay for the outdoor activities, but I'm also curious on what living here could be like. And if this place is really worth moving to. Kaya, in this video, we will put that theory to the test. The best part about the night lifestyle is outdoor activities like these. Or this one, and so much more. We're here now at Mount Daritan Summit, sa wakas. And the beauty of it, it can all be done in just 15 to 20 minutes away from Adelaida. So I can just imagine if you live here, lahat ng ito is just a quick drive away from your home. Goodbye. There's a misconception kasi na masyadong malayo ang Tanay. But actually, it's much closer than Tagaytay. Plus, wala siyang tol. We're hungry. Now, it's lunchtime. Okay, we're here in uh, Tanay Highlands and it's one of the popular places to eat in Tanay. It's only 13 minutes away from Adelaida. And we ordered bulalo and also grilled pusit. And ang maganda dito, it's 12 o'clock. Matirik ang araw pero malamig yung hangin. Now, this isn't the only resto here. Tanay is a booming foodie destination. One of the things I noticed as a real estate consultant is that sobrang active ng development in the area, with establishments popping up left and right. Okay, so we're done with our morning walk and busog na rin for lunch. Uh, now, we are on the way to Adelaida. We're back in Adelaida. And you might be asking, why this village? As you can see from here, my stream share right in the middle. Roads are almost complete. The village clubhouse is almost done. And the title of select lots are ready as well. What I love about Adelaida is that it's located in the heart of Tanay, which is Sampaloc area. And apart from nature activities and restos, madaming malapit na essential establishments, including hospitals and schools. And when you do need to go to the city, it's about an hour and a half to two hours away. That's not too bad actually if you need to go to the city one to two times a week. Just like me, I live and work in the East. So I only go once a week for date nights with my wife at our favorite resto and meet with friends and clients. You have two access points to Tanay. You could either pass through Marcos Highway if you're coming from Quezon City. Now if you're coming from Makati or BGC or Pasig area, you could take the municipal roads through Teresa, Morong, and then Baras. This is also one of the few gated subdivisions in Tanay because you won't want to be located in the middle of the mountains without the security and comfort that a reputable developer can offer. Well, personally, I won't want that too. Also, we were informed by the developer that majority of the people that bought here are actually from the area. So you would expect to have several neighbors in the future, which means there's going to be a community living here. And out of 200 or so lots for sale, may three na lang na natitira. But we have good news. They are launching a new phase, which is located on a much higher ground with views of Laguna de Bay and Tanay Mountains. If you want to be on the wait list, please let us know by sending us a message on the number below. But if you are interested in the available inventory, here are the details. This place is developed by A. Brown, which based on our team's research, has a long-standing record in creating villages like these in similar locations nationwide. Actually, it's only 3 p.m. so we have time to do another exciting activity and it's only 15 minutes away. Let's go to Tarana Falls. All right, just arrived. Uh, I started this video asking if this place was worth moving to. So here are my thoughts. We only promote areas that we like and I personally love nature. So if you're the type that also enjoys outdoor activities like camping, hiking, and all those types of activities, then Tanay is perfect for you. Second, if you are a retiree, then bagay ka dito. 
because this area is safe and it has ample amount of space for a garden and also for family gatherings. So you can invite your children and grandchildren over so you can enjoy activities like this. Third, if you are looking for a second home na, that has fresh air, na malamig, and I can imagine hindi ka naman nandun every day, you can have it rented out as an Airbnb. Yeah. Fourth, if you are an OFW and looking for an investment with low monthly payment terms, and it's still close enough to the city where your family and friends can visit you, or vice versa. Fifth, if you are just working from home and you have a growing family and you just live around Antipolo, Tai Tai, or in Rizal, moving to Tanay would give you a bigger lot for a bigger home. And lastly, if you're looking to put your money in an upcoming area, it would be a good idea to invest it here. Almost everything you love about the mountains is here. If you're all for the healthy life, you can even source fresh produce from the farms here or get it from the local palenque. Overall, I think may binabagayan talaga yung lifestyle na nagdito. But personally, I don't mind living here. See, it's only 5 p.m. and we got so many activities done. What a family day well spent. With all that information, this place is not for you if you are, let's say, going to the city every day and you have to be there at 8 a.m. And not for you if you want the city life. Because this place is mostly nature. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in Atanay or in Adelaida or also in Antipolo, we have 500 plus listings across exclusive subdivisions in all those areas. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next ride. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs>